happy friends. It's Hannah the Doodlebug and Jazz for Indiana. Hope you are having a great day today. So it is it's Thursday. It's still cold and disgusting here in Indiana. I shouldn't say disgusting, but it is definitely cold. On my way to work this morning, it was spitting snow um, or ice or something. It just it's it's cold. Um, so not real fun. So we did a little bit of rearranging today. Got kind of caught up with a few things today, and I have a few orders checked in that I can't wait to show you guys. So what I've got for you today, we've got Impression Obsession. Um, so they are a stamping and die company. So I've got some good reorders that we sold out of right away on our last order in the live with them. Um, Echo Park, remember I told you the other day when Echo Park, the new baby lines came in, I knew I was getting some more in. So the embellishments came, some of the mega kits came. So I'm going to show you those. Um, a little bit more of our 49 and Market, the Rouge line. Um, finally, a couple more things from that line dropped in. And then what else? Oh, we got some Ranger too. So got a good little order from Ranger as well. So fun, fun stuff. A few little sale items because as we're rearranging, I got to make room for stuff. So I got a few little things that I'm putting on sale um, and more of those will be coming in the days ahead too. So I'm going to flip the camera around. All right, got some eyeballs popping on as well too. So that's great. All right, so you know how I get in that little swirly birthday stamp set, and I've shown it to you guys a bazillion times. Well, um, one of you messaged in, and you were like, you know, I went to see, you know, I love that stamp set. I wanted to see if he had any others, um, you know, and she was like, and, and they're out there. She's like, I hope you don't mind that I did that. I'm like, I don't mind at all. I never even looked to see if he had other stuff. So the guy, you know, I don't even know who he is. Um, it says Phil Martin, though. Not for sure if he is a designer for what company overseas. I'm, I'm not even for sure. I mean, it's got all kinds of stuff on the back. His Twitter, his blog, his, his YouTube channel. So I'm not for sure what, you know, what he's been really popular in. But his little swirly birthday stamps sure do sell here. So we got in a few of the other ones. So this one is called Fun Birthday Verses. All right, I'm going to flip it over so you can see you've got Big set, and then a little line, big set, little line, and then two smaller sentiments down there. So we've got, there's another candle on your cake. Of that, there is no doubt. It surely is a guarantee. I'll take, it'll take longer to blow them out. But don't despair. No, don't you pout. We are always here to help you out. Oh, that's cute. Have a ball on your birthday. And then have a ball on your birthday. You can use that with a lot of different stamp sets. That would be a fun one there. Your birthday is a special day. There's lots of laughs and there'll be lots of laughs and fun. We couldn't get the candles on one cake all, so you've got an extra bun. Oh, that's so funny. Um, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday and stay amazing. Keep calm. It's your birthday again. So that one is fun birthday verses. This one is called thinking of you versus I want you to know I'm thinking of you today. I hope that in some way this will help you and brighten your day. Take care. I was about take care is a separate one. It is. Um, thinking of you today in the warmest of ways. I'm here when you need me for today and always. And then here's a separate with caring thoughts. And then small little thinking of you and you are in my thoughts. And those are really nice fonts on that one too. And again, these are like $10 stamp sets. So you get a huge stamp set for 10 bucks. Special day versus, there really couldn't be a better day to say I'm wishing you all the very best on your special day and then separate have a wonderful time. Today is such a special day. It's time to celebrate. Hope everything goes well for you and that it's super smashing great. Have an amazing day. That would probably be a separate one. Yep. And then the little enjoy your special day and on your special day. So these, this is a good one because it doesn't say birthday or anything like that. So on your special day, you could use that for lots of different things. Shoot, if you don't have graduation stamps, you can turn this into a graduation set. You can turn it in, you know, use wedding paper and things like that. You can turn this into a bridal shower, baby shower even. So, I mean, all kinds of fun ways that you can use this stamp set. And then this one says classic birthday verses. Oh, Anna, I see you're thinking of you. You got it. Put it to the side. Um, your birthday is a special day. It comes just once a year. That's why I simply had to send best wishes and good cheer. And then 
yep, separate, have a happy birthday. This truly original handmade card was made especially just for you to wish you all the very best and a happy birthday too. Have, a, have fun on your birthday. Oh, so I like how that one includes that it's a handmade card. So that's kind of fun. Um, have a truly amazing birthday. Woohoo, it's your birthday. So that's a fun little stamp set too. So four new stamp sets there. All right, Impression Obsession. This one here is a restock, but it is so stinking cute and super popular too. So it's got Get Well Soon. Well, at least you don't have to wear a cone. Heard you caught a bug, a little hard, it's got the little dog there. So again, lots of good ones that you can use on other cards, but I mean, these are just so stinking cute. Love those. And then this one here is a restock, the little die that says, love you to the moon and back. These did not make it through the last time we did the Facebook Live with this company, so we got them back in. Happy, uh, this is a little St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day die. Flip it over and you can see true size there. This one here is the Valentine's Day one. I know we had someone who didn't get it last time, so we've got hers pulled already for a special order. And then these two are new ones. So, so cute. I tried this one just because they're little cat and dog. The other ones we've gotten in have always gone so well. So I, it's the same artist. So this one here, you have my heart. I love you. It's got the little cat there. Be my Valentine. You make my heart happy. So cute. <laughs> and I like this one too because I know a lot of times, sometimes Valentine's Day sets can be too lovey-dovey. So the Be My Valentine, You Make My Heart Happy, those are just good ones that you can send to friends. You know, if you've got Galentines that you send stuff to, um, or I know a lot of you do cards for shut-ins and nursing homes, you know, the Be My Valentine and You Make My Heart Happy, those are both very, um, very neutral kind of Valentine's Day sentiments. And then this one here, oh my gosh. So remember Christmas, they did the stinking cute little piglet, Eeyore, Winnie the Pooh. They did all those classic, classic characters um, and the classic um, illustration of them. Well, they did a piglet and an Eeyore for Valentine's Day. No, no other one. So I didn't, you know, skimp on Winnie the Pooh or anything like that. These are the only two. Um, so you've got the cute little piglet. You've got the Eeyore here. And sending you, or sorry, sorry, sending so much love your way. Here's my heart, just a little something to show I care. It's going to be okay. So these are good ones too, not even necessarily Valentine's at all. Love those. So that was Impression Obsession. Then as we go into the next order, we did get in a few more molds from Prima Marketing. Remember the other day I showed you that I got the resin in for the molds and you can paint these, color them with waxes. And um, the other day, the only thing that really shipped was butterflies. And I kept telling you guys, I promise I did more than just butterflies. So this one here is a really fun set. All kinds of great little frames, ornamental pieces. And this one has some really nice size frames in it. Got those in. And then that brings us to our baby stuff. So I showed you guys these the other day. And what I got in today, this is the mega bundle. All right, so what you're going to get in here, so if you loved the line, you are going to get collection kit. You get the solids in here as well. Okay, so you've got a collection kit. You've got solids in here. Then you're also going to get both of the chipboards. Showed you those the other day. And frames and tags. And ephemera. And enamel dots and puffy stickers. So if you love the line, the mega pack is a great way to go. It does save you a little chunk going that way. And I love it because they hit it all up for me nicely. Same thing for our baby girl. So we got the mega kit for baby girl. So it's gonna be the exact same thing. Collection kit and solids that I just showed you the other day. You're gonna get both the chipboards, enamel dots, the frames and tags, ephemera, and the puffy stickers. And the puffy stickers I didn't get for the store. So that's something that's in there that I did not even have on the shelf. Then a few other things I added. We got in the adhesive brands. So cute. The sticker books. We got one in for girl and boy. 
get my nail underneath. I broke my nail yesterday. So that is my good peeling nail. All right. So these sticker books are always great. As you can see, there are 16 pages in here. So you get lots of great stickers. Got great little borders, and they're not all babyish either. So that way, whenever you're done, good alphabets, you can use a lot of this on other things. Oh, I love the little month stickers in there, though. And then it repeats. So super fun. It's going to be the same thing for girls. I'm going to flip it over so you can see that one. So you're going to have the icon pages. You're going to have the little months on there. You're going to have the borders in there, alphabets, little words, and tags. Jamie, they are $15.29 for your 16 pages. So that's a buck a sheet. So that's a pretty, pretty good deal on those. Then we also have the adhesive brads for the girl. We got in boy 6x6, six six, and I don't know why I did not get girl, but I added in the girl. So we've got the girl 6x6 six six papers. And then, oh my gosh, I loved the, oh, can't even see. It's, i got to zoom out here. I loved the little girl, well, still, my goodness, the little girl washi tape here. And you can see right here what it's going to look like, but I'm trying to find the end. Maybe I can peel it back just a little bit so you guys can see it. There's all kinds of cute little icons on here. It is so stinking sweet. And I think that it could be used on all kinds of different stuff. There we go. You can see how sweet that washi tape is. Love that little washi tape. Then I got in the stencil for the little girl line. Because it's a rainbow. And it has hearts. And it's not even babyish. So that is fun. That's going to be really fun to stencil as well. Now, you could do each one in different colors. You could rainbow up, you know, kind of do a little bit different. But I think that would be fun. You could, you know, do it that way. You could use a different glitter paste on here, kind of mix it up. That would be really, really pretty. So this stencil has lots and lots of different options. Uh, let's see here for the baby, our baby. We got in the solid pack for that. And then the six by six pad. Remember, the Our Baby is a gender neutral one. Okay. And then for uh, 49 and Market, what came in for them is the page kit from Rouge. That's what we hadn't gotten in yet. So the beautiful page kit. So again, this is going to make four different pages. And this thing, it is heavy. You get so much stuff in here. I mean, it's, it's a, quite a few pounds just for one package. First of all, it comes in this amazing little folder. Love that. You've got your chipboard pieces in there. You've got cut up or, um, laser cutouts. You've got a cute little pack of ephemera here. And then it's going to make these four pages. One, two, three, four. So this is basically like a class kit to go. And you don't have to do it exactly the way they did it. Um, and I will tell you, there are videos where she is teaching you how to do these. I need to get those um, those links up on the website with these as well. But Janine did videos where she is making the pages or somebody is making the pages and walking you through them. So this truly is a kit to go. That is, I think that is awesome. Not every company supports their stuff that way. So I'm really excited that they did that. This one here, some little motorcycle stickers. Had somebody come in the other day and they were wanting some, some motorcycle stickers. So we got some of those in for them. We have a few to put on the shelf. These are just fun. Um, I'm going to skip over and do this one here. This is Graphic 45. This is a restock. This is the Let It Be collection. This is such a pretty line. And we still have a little bit of embellishments for it, but... Seeing how popular our B paper still is, how popular the sunflower stuff still is, I got back in this collection kit. So there's that one. A little fun paper here. This one here looks like notebook paper. 
We always have people that come in and they want journaling paper for their scrapbooks. Um, and it's really hard to find lined paper. So I found this one here. So that's kind of fun. All right, and then we got a little order from Ranger. So we got in the Ranger Heat It tool. Now, I want to talk a little bit about this. I know it says use to melt embossing powder. And, you know, I am going to tell you I have this tool, and I love it. But honestly, friends, I do not use it a whole lot to melt my embossing powder. It takes too long. Um, and it's not that, you know, it, it's a real gentle airflow. This is great, though, for quickly drying paints. If you're doing any kind of mixed media stuff, water coloring, and you need to add layers, and you don't want to wait for it to dry, I love this gun. It doesn't overheat your paper. You don't have to worry about it scorching. Um, it's low noise, too. When we teach classes, and it's a mixed media class, I always say bring your Ranger heat gun, you know, not your embossing gun, because those are so loud. It's a nice low low noise level on this um, so you know if you're kind of looking at different tools and tools to do different things or maybe you're not into heat embossing so you haven't even thought about getting a craft gun a craft gun is great again like I said anytime I'm doing any kind of mixed media backgrounds my stencil pastes all kinds of stuff I use this little heat gun for um, but my embossing gun if you take an embossing gun to paint you're probably going to bubble your paint because it actually boils the water in it um, ask me how I know. I have ruined projects with a with an embossing gun. So the heat tool is it's great. I love it. Put on pastes. You know, take the stencil off, and you want to keep working. You know, this will speed that process up. So if you're wanting it, just you know, if you're wanting something for embossing, this really is not your best tool for that. Um, there are other guns that are better. They're going to heat it quicker. This will emboss. It's just going to take longer to heat up. And there's some tricks with that, too. You know, you can heat um, you can heat under it first for a little bit, then heat on top. That will help. So if you've got this guy at home and you don't love it for heat embossing and it's just not in the budget now to get another embossing gun, those are some things that you can do. Heat from the bottom, warm the paper up, and then heat from the top. That will help. Um, you can also kind of, you know, um, your nonstick mat that you work on, Sometimes I will even heat that just a little bit. If you've ever noticed, if you're doing a lot of stuff and you're doing a lot of embossing, the next ones always go quicker. Well, that's because your mats are already heated up, and so it, it kind of helps to move that heat around, things like that. So those are some little things that will, that will help if you have this, and that's what you've been using it for your embossing gun. So with embossing too, or pretty much anything, just love these little guys. These are the Handle It tools. Just the cutest little silicone hands right there to hold anything that you need to hold. Uh, but it is great for your embossing because it, they're silicone hands. So you can heat them. They're not going to melt. And it will hold the paper. And because they're nice and flexible, I know sometimes when you're holding it and you're holding on tight to your tweezers, you'll actually make little dents into your paper. And people don't like that then. So you'll wrinkle and crinkle your paper. So with these nice little hands, it kind of spreads all that out. And they're nice and soft, so you don't have to worry about them digging into your paper. And these, they're like three bucks. They're less than four. I know that for sure. I just dug them out of the box. I stole them from Leslie. Um, next up, okay. Oh my gosh. I am so stinking excited about these, and I meant to grab my tool, and I forgot. Let me see if I can find one back here real quick. Going over to my messy drawers. Yes. Okay. So this is our Ranger tool. Classic tool. I bet almost, we got a few people watching right now. I bet eight to ten of you have this one. Okay. I bet you have this guy in your stash because it's amazing. Um, you know, I don't always use it for all of my ink blending, but I still use it for a lot of ink blending. I use these little guys for putting on paint. They are great for that. Um, putting, if you want to do glazes and you don't want to get a palette knife out or you want a real thin coat um, that dries quicker, I, I use this for that purpose. So I use this little guy all the time. They came out, I mean, this is one of those things, friends. I mean, look at it. Why didn't we think of this? I mean, seriously, 
how many of you have a, you know, uh, a garage that has a tool that you put sandpaper on? Yep, I have one of those. Why did we not think to do little sandpaper discs for this guy? So now if you wanted to stress an edge, you don't have to get your file out. You don't have to find the emery board or anything like that. You've got these super cute little sanding discs that are just going to pop right on here. And you've got 10 in a pack for three bucks. I am so excited about these. So again, all of you guys, you know, this is one of those staples that I think we should have in our craft arsenal. So this is going to be fun because now think about our embossing folders. After we've embossed them on white core paper, we can just easily go over the top to distress them. It is kind of hard to do that with an emery board. Um, your paper, you can just hold your paper and then quickly distress the edges of your paper now to get that. Starla wants a pack. Hey, yeah, you do. These are awesome. And for three bucks, I am so excited about these. Can, I mean, when I saw those come out, I was just, again, I was just like, well, that's like the best thing since sliced bread around here. Um, and I don't know why no one thought about it. So, um, Tim, why did it take you so long to think about this? I, I, I'm kind of shocked, actually. So, anyway, sanding discs are in. I, that would be if I would do my top ten favorite things right now, this would definitely make the list because that is, that's exciting. You know, and I always talk about how if you can make something you already own better, why not? Because you've already invested in it. So you've already invested in these. Now add three bucks and this tool does so many more things now for you. Okay. Other things from Ranger. You know how Tim takes, um, no, not takes, Tim puts out new distress colors every four or five months. Um, or I think whenever he has a little time in his schedule to reformulate and things like that. Well, a lot of you always ask for the minis and they don't do the minis with each color. They always, you know, they kind of save up the colors. Um, so these are ones they had not done individual minis for yet. So these have not been available in minis. So now we have prize ribbon available individually. They have been in multi-packs but not to where if you didn't want the other ones in the pack, you, that's the only way you could get them. So we've got little prize ribbon now. We've got little crackling campfire. We've got little hitch flamingo. Saltwater taffy. Villainous potion. That was one of my favorite purples. Speckled egg. Rustic Wilderness, and Salvaged Patina. So those are new colors in from Ranger in the minis. Again, like I said, these aren't brand new colors. I shouldn't, I shouldn't say it that way. Um, but it is the first time that they have offered them the little mini inks. Okay, I stole them out of the thing. Um, Leslie, do you mind checking the little distress ink thing? I, I know they're less than $4, Diana. Uh, Diane, how much are the little mini Ranger ink pads? Are they three sixty nine, three seventy nine? Three seventy nine. We're thinking three seventy nine. So that's how much they are. Now I do. So let me show you what I have, Diane. Just in case you're wanting a few of them. We're gonna, we're gonna walk here, friends. Is like I said, some of them had already been in multi packs, so we do have those here on the shelf. So the multi pack we have has the Salvage Patina, Prize Ribbon, Villainous Potion, Saltwater Taffy, and those are twelve twenty nine. So it is a little cheaper getting the multi pack this way. But again, if you didn't like all the colors, that was the only way that you could get them. So I guess what I'm saying, Diane, is if there were like if you want them all great but I would much rather sell you this so you save a little bit and then pick up the other one so you wouldn't need that one you would not need that one that one or salt water so if you like if you want them all um, and what are okay perfect so we'll get you the multi-pack and then these other four right here 
perfect. Yep. I just, I didn't want to, I have these and it's going to save you a little bit. So I'm going to sell it to you that way. Because I like you. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to add that to the, to the little pile with starless sanding discs. All right, couple last little things before I tell you guys goodbye for the evening. Um, as you know, um, or maybe you forgot, Simple Stories did brand new pet lines. They did dog, cat, and then just that general pet. And we have it up front displayed, but we've got so much more paper coming in. We've got to make a little bit of room. So just getting a few things out of the pet line that were almost empty. So it'll free up a whole paper tray for me. So this one here is um, called Chow Chip. It's by Bella Boulevard. And it is from their Chloe or Chloe line that they did. Just a really cute little set of cat chipboard. I only have one because again, I'm just trying to look at what's almost, almost empty. So it'll free up a whole paper slot for me. And they are on sale for $4.95 and they were usually $6.79 got that there just one same line but this one here is the sticker sheet so you've got all kinds of fun little stickers great borders that you wouldn't even necessarily have to use on pet stuff you know and look at these you know love this smitten um just you know little generic arrow the climber oh my gosh i could have used that on a bazillion different pages of the boys when they were little so a lot of this has longevity so once you go through oh the my baby love you sleepy you know all kinds of these can be used on other projects as well but anyway this one here is the sticker sheet only one it's 375 on sale it was 529 so i've only got one of those and then the other one i pulled so far this one here was almost empty we had just three sheets of it left yep three sheets and it is just a really cute little border of cat paper. And if you, yep, you're getting a little bit of shine there because it has glitter on it. See that little touch of glitter? And I do like this one because it's not so busy. I know that sometimes the pages become, the papers are a little busy. And depending on how your style of scrapbooking is, you, 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 I'm not going to lie. You, you got to lose the focus of your picture sometimes there, there. I said it and I can't believe I said it. Cause I like that, you know, that crazy, that crazy look, but sometimes you do have to kind of look at it and be like, where's the picture at? Um, so this one here, it is nice and clean. So you can easily put, you know, three, four different pictures on here or just one big focal picture, but it's still such a cute page. You've got a good little image down here and it's not going to take away from your pictures and you can add lots of layers then if you want to. So I've got these and they are 40% off uh, because if they don't sell, they will go into the 40% off paper rack right there. Easy peasy for me. I think they were like $1.29. So I think these are like 75 cents a sheet now, and which is a smoking good deal because of all the cute little glitter on it. So, all right. Woo. I think that might be it. Um, I was trying to even think what all we, yeah, I just spent a lot of time going through sections today. You know, I do that every now and then. And well, you're going to know what sections I, I looked at today because the next couple orders, you know, I did the tool spinner. So we're going to get all kinds of tools back. <laughs> you know how it is. It's just, you can always tell from my order um, what section I got to, to organize and reorder that day because that's what the next order is full of. Some, some good random stuff some new stuff and then a whole whole section restock so oh one other thing i did i had a lady come in today and she was looking for organizational stuff so of course i brought her back here to our huge totally tiffany section i mean i think she needs another rack i really do but we just got in this leanne bag and i went ahead and put it together because we were just talking and she was trying to find something to sort store certain stickers in so i put in i put together this leanne bag I just want to show you how nice and big this is. So she is a nice size bag. And I know sometimes it just helps to see things in person because it is kind of hard, um, you know, from the packaging sometimes to visualize. This is going to be a good dump bag too. So just like all those little things you need, like for class or whenever you're crafting on the go, it's going to fit 
I mean, it's going to fit a ruler, it's going to fit your tape guns, it's going to fit your liquid glue. It's, you know, going to fit a bone folder in here. This is just a nice little carry-on, catch-all kind of bag as well, because it's so nice and big and so deep. But again, she was listed for tools, paints, and ink pads. And she would definitely hold some of those nice, bigger ink pads as well, too. So, I just wanted to show you guys that, because I did put that together today. So, it is right there. Okay. All right, well, hey friends, I think that might be it. So, um, Leslie's working on a little bit of an order. I did show you some of it, though. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I dug some stuff out. I took it from her so I could show you that today. And then I know that Catherine Pooler is on the way. We got shipping notice for that, so that'll be coming in. New inks and a couple new stamps from her. Our ink section for Catherine Pooler was getting really, really low. So that order went in. I'm working on Hero Arts. So if anyone needs anything Hero Arts, let me know. That's one of my next ones I need to get done. And then Spellbinders. I did Spellbinders today. They have a really cute new release coming up. I shouldn't say cute. Um, it's, it's sophisticated. It's beautiful. Because um, the last one was kind of cute because it had the little duck and, you know, the rain and things like that. So that was a really cute one. But this next one is very sophisticated. Um, so I think you guys will like that. It reminds me a lot of the release they did while I was in um, Vegas back in October, November, and did all those sample cards, which you guys just love. So it's very much like that line and that, that look, probably the same designer. Um, so I just placed that order today. So that, that one takes a little bit. So that'll probably be in the next two, three weeks since it does take them a little bit. Um, other than that though, I mean, simple stories have been placed, but that's not shipping, I think until February. I've got Echo Park in for each month, but the baby was the one for this month. Um, just trying to think of some of the oh photo play is coming but that's a lot of reorders and restocks but restocks on stuff that sold out really quick so maybe some stuff you guys didn't get the first time around so that'll be good there um but yeah i think that's kind of it so until next time my friends thanks so much for jumping on and joining me um i'm hannah the doodlebug in jasper indiana so if you were ever in southern indiana we would love to see you we're about 20 minutes up off of interstate 64 um, and so if you're coming from the south, coming from the north, we are about maybe an hour, not even an hour and a half from Bloomington. Um, two hours, 45 minutes. We're less than three hours from Indy. So um, it's definitely worth the trip. I promise you. Okay. All right. See you next time. And you can always look us up online at www.thedoodlebuginc.com. You guys have a great and amazing evening. Bye.